Okay, so this is the Micro FiSci, or short for Physical Science Kit, that QSL puts out. And here, I'll kind of move it. I don't know if you can read this, but here it says that this is for grades 7 through 11. It is not, I've taken a quick peek, it is not for the lighthearted student for physics, or for learning physical science. But if you want them to really dig deep in their experiments, this is a great step. It is easier than the physics lab kit because the physics lab kit is meant for 11th and 12th grade. But um, like they said, it's independent study, distant learning, and then classrooms that are using this as well. So anyways, let's take a look. Open it up and like the physics, you have this nice plastic baggie that has your manual, which I'll pull out. And like before, they have suggested experiment order. So, you know, I, like I said, I know that Apologia is very popular. So they actually have, if you're doing seventh grade from the science edition, here's all they're recommending that you do. And that's because of the challenge. The, you know, they need to be a little bit more advanced with math. If they're doing an eighth grade, say they're doing algebra one concurrently, then there's a longer list of what you would be doing. Okay. So, you know, B, BJU Press, Bob Jones University, Abeka, those are the other two that they show. There is also the Solutions to Experiments, where they are, let me see if I have this, taking from an actual experiment, here is what people recorded, and then what the suggested answers are. This makes it easier for you as the homeschool teacher to go ahead and work through. And I will show for this, they do have some lab kits that they say are for younger grades. I did not notice them on the lab, on the, the website listed per se for grades four through five, but I think that must be a separate one. These are all the high school level ones. I've used the biology kit, it's fantastic. Everything in one place, they included specimens and lots of pictures in their manual for that. Okay, so like I said, this is Physical Science 2nd Edition, so, and here it says 7 through 10, but it's a full year's worth of labs. And some of this stuff I'm not going to open up to see what exactly is in here, it feels like stickers. But just like, push this over, just like the physics one, it'll show you in the front of the book. Here are all the supplies included with the kit. It tells you what equipment, because this is physical science, not just physics, there is some chemistry involved. There's some basic equipment that they're going to be giving you as well. And then they tell you for each lab what is not included with the kit, so that you know. And this lab one is the same lab that they do in their physics class. It's very simple to do with the kids. It's just to get them thinking about scientific method and walking through the steps and being observant. And some of us got confused which book we were looking at. Metric measurements, this is actually the one I'm going to need the spring for. We're doing something different for the physics for that. But it tells you, you know, a lot of background for the kids. It gives them the formulas for area that they're going to need. Area of a cylinder. Gives them the procedures, what you're going to need from the kit. And what you're going to be recording for your results. So this, the format is very similar to all the other ones. It really lays it out for the kids to understand. And as there are chemicals in this kit, at the very back, they have MSDS, Material Safety Data Sheets. When I worked in chemistry many, many moons ago, we had giant binders <laughs> just full of these things. This is just, you know, this is for higher concentrations, large qualities, quantities. You shouldn't have to worry about it, but if something were to happen, or if you're just, you know, go through with the kids that when you're working with chemicals, even if it's stuff you're using in your yard for gardening, look at what is what you're using, what's the safety information for it, what are some side effects, what do you do if you get exposed. Very, very important, and when you're doing science with your kids, things like the, you know, the physical science, the chemistry component, or when you get to full-on chemistry class, 
take the time. Get them used to really looking and thinking about safety. So like I said, this has some chemistry stuff. So here, I'm not going to take it all the way out. You can put little amounts so that you're doing reactions in small amounts in here. And that's something you would find in the regular one. Like the physics kit, we've got a little, you know, this looks a little bit more like the the race cars my boys used to design um, for that. Something that's not in the physics, we have a little science toy, Slinky, anybody remember those? In this case, we have some foam balls in here and we have a balloon. And in, unlike the physics one where the balls had weights, this one does not. And like I said, there's some more chemical stuff. Here we have some food coloring. We've got a small thing of hydrochloric acid, the sodium hydroxide. We've got some litmus paper in here, which while you could go and buy a lot of this stuff separately, it, you'd end up with a lot left over more than likely for what you need. This is enough to go through a couple of times. I can tell you right now that the stuff like this that came with our biology kit, we got through once with my single, my son by himself, and once with my son with other kids, and there's still some solutions left. So there's plenty of life in these kits. We're dealing with chemicals, safety goggles which seeing this is a great reminder that if I don't have enough pairs to dig around here I'm gonna to have to order some for when we do chemistry with the kids in my labs because I really don't want any issues and you know like I said I, I love they have things labeled that goes right in here has the ruler where you're measuring either side there's a protractor on the back side um, metric. We're doing metric units when we're doing science. And this looks like a slightly different but similar a spring balance that they're going to be using. Not quite as bulky as the one from the physics kit, but that's great. And some other odds and ends. We're going to build some molecular models. So here we go. I'll give you a little tip. This is great when you have one or two. When If I'm going to sit down and do this with a group of six, which is what I have at the moment signed up, I'm going to be pulling marshmallows. It's marshmallows with toothpicks. Perfect. But other to get them started, to show them, I can demo with this, and then they can have fun with the marshmallows. Then I'm not wanting to eat them. All right, some other stuff that's not... Some with electricity. Some that's not... We have the aluminum bar, we have a PE rod, the steel bolt, and PE I believe is polyethylene is what they are shortening for. Here we have some more things, some pulleys, some tandem pulleys and washers. And finally we've got some lenses, diffraction grading lens holder. So like I said, really a lot of stuff in this kit, they even included some foam cups. Maybe they figure if you're just going to do it one time, you don't need uh, to buy a whole package of 100. I'll be buying a package of 100 because I'll have all those kids working on stuff. But there you have it. This is the what they call the um, micro sign kit, so physical science. And like I said, I'm using it with middle school kids. Um, to do some of the labs, I because I know some of my kids are seventh grade and some are eighth grade. I honestly think this is what I'm going to be looking at. This is what they think seventh graders can handle versus what eighth graders can handle. So that's fine because then I have stuff I can move on to physical science next year and already have some of the supplies I need. All right, and there you go again, Microfisci Second Edition. This is Laura from Day by Day in Our World, and thanks so much for watching us look at what's inside the boxes.